so um, the, the pimping out of my um, Metallica LE that I've bought recently continues. I've done the shaker motor in a previous video. I've done uh, the installing of a colored uh, DMD LCD in a previous video. Now I am installing some mirror blades that I've bought off of Elite Pinball. I think it's ElitePinball.com.au. Um, it's uh, Ryan C from the Head to Head Pinball podcast who hooked me up with these. Um, so the first thing to note is just when installing these, um, <laughs> the first time I did this I got this wrong rather stupidly, the left and the right sides of the games are different. Okay, so there's two different cutouts, it's obvious when you think about it, but uh, when the first time you do it you should note it. And that most of these, um, these mirror blades that you get, um, the really side that you want to expose to your game, the really shiny side, uh, comes covered in a protective layer of plastic which peels off at the very end. So what you want to do to get started, so this is the one on the left hand side, this is the one on the right, so I'm going to show you how I install those. Um, now what you want to do is you want to line it up so that it is a couple of millimeters below the, the, um, the channel for the glass. Now the important thing is to make sure that you don't get it too high up. If you get it too high up, you will um, scratch your glass. So it really doesn't matter if it's a, you see a couple of millimeters of wood. Um, it really doesn't. Scratching your glass up is far more of an issue. So you want to make sure that there's enough play for the glass. Now the way that I get these in place is um, I just get some insulation tape, get it in place. Um, once it is in place, I will tape it up. So there's two bits here and you'll see that there's one at the back, very back of the game. I do this with the play field up uh, to start with and then what I will do for screwing these in is I get um, these drill bits with a very sharp tip on the end. You can see those. Um, and then I use that to just, rather than drilling into my cabinet, to, um, which makes me a bit scared, I will just create a nice little hole for the screw to go into so that it, it goes in nice and straight because one of the keys with this is making sure that when you put your screw in it's nice and straight so I'll literally do that with each of the holes so with the play field down you can see I've got my tape on securing it at the back as well I'll just go in and again just make sure I've got a, a nice little hole for it to get into check that this hasn't moved so now that these holes have been primed and I've got my screws um, the first thing to make sure is that, that these screws are never too long to go through uh, the cabinet because that will be disastrous these are 12 just over 12 mils millimeters which I don't know what that is in inches but google it these are 12 millimeters and the cabinet wood is around 18 so there's really no no pro chance of it's going through um, so I'll actually screw this in with the plastic in place um, and again I've primed it so I'm pretty comfortable that it's going to go in straight it's you want to get it finishing as close as you can as flush as you can and they get it they're counter sunk screws and you can have a look and see I'll zoom right into that now when you get very close to being finished, it's not a bad idea just to peel back just the bit that covers the screw of the protective plastic because once you've got it in, you don't, it's a pain to get the plastic around where the where screw is once you've got the screw in. So you can see I've got that off now
So that is now got the plastic removed and it's nice and flush on the back one. Once the back one's done, we can move on to the middle and the, the front screws. So I don't know quite what this little bracket is here, but it was very useful. I unscrewed these quarter inch drives and actually it, it clips very nicely onto the, the mirror blades. I don't know if it was installed for some kind of um, blades of some sort or to hook something on, I'm not quite sure. But I loosened it, slide, slid the slid the mirror blades in underneath it and re-tightened it. So that really did help actually keep it in place. So it's not just the plastic. And again, so just putting this in as square as you can. Then I want to just try to get some of this this protective plastic that is around the screw off. So once that's out of the way, So this is the bit that you got to be very careful of because if it sticks out too much, it will damage your play field. Um, so again, I've cleared away some of the plastic covering. It goes, you want to go as straight as you can. That's about as good as it's going to get. Now before I take the plastic off, um, I'm going to just slide the glass in and just make sure that that all works now that it's screwed in. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to go now and do the, uh, the one on the other side. You can see how I do it from scratch. Okay, so with the play filled up, you get it with the protected side forward front. Slide it down between. Down to the protection. Okay. So as I said before, there's this little bracket down here which I'm just not quite sure what it's for, but it's quite useful. I've loosened that up, get my first piece. You know, you're going to start off being very rough and just put a rough piece in to start with. Just roughly speaking, where it is, nothing too serious. Then, what you want to do is you want to put your game down, and your main point of lining it up actually is here at the back of the game. So, you want to get this. close to the back as you can. Okay, so again, you're trying to get a rough idea of a couple of millimeters from the top, so it doesn't damage your glass. And you just stick that on like that. Okay, and then up goes the play field again. Loosen this, these bracket screws here. Okay. But you need to kind of pry it forward with a flat screwdriver. And then what you're trying to do is just try to get this flat so the gap is consistent. And to me and then I'm just going to tighten this little bracket up. It's almost as if it's designed for it. Maybe someone's going to laugh at me and say well that's exactly what it's designed for. That ties that on nicely. Um, I'm going to go back and just check the back one last time before I start screwing holes in.
that's actually come forward quite a lot, so I'm gonna Checking. Let's just check the back one again. It's in pretty good shape now. Okay. So let us just do a couple of pilot holes. for a scraping metal on glass sound as this goes up. And just checking if that is clearing the glass, which it is. So now it's just a matter of removing that little plastic film.
the side. Okay, so protective stuff off. Now from this point on, whenever you lift your play fields, you want to be careful because it's possible now to scratch this. But what you'll see now with the mirror blades in, it changes the dynamic of the game dramatically. Because now all of a sudden, you're getting this amazing depth across your field. So let's have a look at that in a little bit more detail. Now with the mirror blades installed, you can see it opens up the play field as you get the reflections um, from both sides. And it's just, I think it's for the, the money, it's gotta be, for the money, it's gotta be one of the best mods you can add to your game in terms of pimping it up. I would say in, in for my money it's best bang for your buck followed by your PDI glass, your Invisiglass, whatever you want to call it and then the color DMD. So this one has got everything. Um, it's got a shaker motor now. It's got the mirror blades. It's got the color LCD and it's got the Invisiglass. So all in all pimping of this machine is now done. Get on to uh, enjoying it. If you like this video, you can hit the subscribe button.